Hello, and today we're hopping into another um, gameplay tier list, and today it's gonna be Siege. And so, yeah, basically, this uh, tier list includes gadgets and star powers as well as the last one. And also, I'm gonna be taking a break from YouTube because, well, yeah, and um, for until Wednesday, uh, next Wednesday from the time this is recorded, so eight days. And then it might say seven on like the YouTube, um, how long ago this video was, but anyway, um, but eight days, I'll be taking a break. And so like, yeah, okay. But let's, without any further ado, let's hop into this tier list. Okay, in the, the starting from the D tier at 38, and the worst brawler for Siege is Crow, dropping 15 spots from the last tier list. Crow just, just doesn't put up, put off enough of DPS or have enough health to be, to really have, do, really actually do anything in Siege. So yeah. And then at 37 is 8-bit, um, dropping two spots. And 8-bit, um, before he was the, currently, um, he used to be the worst brawl in the game, um, in Siege on the last tier list, and now he's the second worst. Basically, 8-bit, with his slow speed, basically he can't really do anything except, um, do a lot of damage but since there's also a lot of there's typically a lot of walls in siege and throwers are very viable in siege and you're gonna see a lot of throwers and because of this ab is just a really bad brawler for siege okay but then at 36 is shelly dropping three spots and shelly is also just really bad overall and um there's no reason she's not good in siege either so yeah okay but then at 35 is leon dropping three spots and Leon is not, Leon, he does put off a lot of DPS, but Leon is not um, a very viable use um, overall right now because of like, and there's also like a lot of brawlers that counter him like Mr. P and also sometimes Gene and Barley too. And there's also, there's a lot of walls, which... Well, I guess that doesn't really change anything for Leon. He doesn't really care about walls, I guess. Maybe a little bit. But anyway, uh, 34, we have Nita dropping 12 spots. And Nita, um, the, the, um, brawlers have, the, um, the maps have become more long-ranged. And Nita just doesn't fit those maps. And also, um, with the long-range maps, her bear doesn't do as much as it used to do. So, yeah. And then at 33, we have Mortis dropping two spots. And Mortis is also... Um, although there are a lot of throwers, um, in this game mode, and he can also be a good bolt collector, besides that, he's just very horrible in this game mode, and yeah. Okay, but then, now we're gonna get into the C tier, and at 32 is Colt dropping 13 spots. Colt, what, um, basically Colt is really good on offense and defense, but, um, when you're not on off when you're not attacking or defending, He's not a very good brawler because he he's not very good in 1v1 situations. And yeah. Okay, but then at 31 is Piper dropping six spots. And Piper um Piper is really viable in one um one siege map and then decent in three others, but horrible in um another three others. So overall Piper's not the best um, Siege Brawler, but she's not also, she's also not the worst, but she's still pretty bad. Okay, but then at 30 is Terra gaining 4 spots, and Terra is, Terra, um, is actually pretty good in 1v1 situations, but Terra's not very good on defense or offense, because she just doesn't put off a lot of damage, and yeah. Okay, but then at 29 is Jess, Jessie gain, um, dropping 8 spots. And Jesse is just not very good in 1v1 and not the best attacking or defending. Okay, but then at 28 is Sandy um, staying at the same rank. And Sandy, uh, because of these new, these lane maps, three of the lane maps, she, um, Sandy is a support brawler. And because of these lane maps where um, you typically spread off from your um, teammates, that doesn't really suit Sandy. And that's why she's not that good in um, Siege. Okay, but then at 27 is Rico dropping 9 spots. And overall, Rico is just a decent Siege brother. And, and while he is pretty good on offense and defense, dealing a lot of damage, 
besides that, he's not very good when your team when you collect when you're trying to collect bolts. Okay, but then uh, 26 is Poco gaining four squats, and Poco is pretty good in three siege maps and okay in one. But on the lane siege maps, he's pretty bad because you spread off from the, because the fact that you spread off from your teammates most likely. Uh, that doesn't really suit Poco as a support brawler and a healer, and yeah. Okay, but then at 25 we have Nanny, who's a new brawler, and Nanny is just basically she does do a lot of damage. Although besides that, she's not the um, to she's not that good in one v one situations, and she's not that good overall in um in the meta. So yeah. Okay, but now we're gonna be hopping into the B tier, and at 24 we have B gaining two spots, and B is a pretty good bra um, brawler in 1v1 situations, although on offense and defense she's really bad, because she doesn't charge her super off the robot or the Ike, and because of that, if she did, then she would be a really good brawler for Siege, but because she doesn't, she's not, she's not horrible, but she's not the best either. Okay, but then... At 23, we have M's, and M's dropping 14 spots is, um, M's used to be a really dominant brawler, but now she's just okay. And M's herself, while she does provide a lot of control, besides that, she's not, she's just kind of an okay brawler. She's kind of like an average brawler. Okay, but then at 22, we have Daryl dropping 8 spots. And Daryl is not very good in 1v1 situations unless he has a super and because of that and also he's de he's decent on offense but really good on defense but besides that he's just okay okay but then at 21 we have pam gaining eight spots and pam is really viable in four maps but on the other three maps she's just a horrible brawler and while i think pam I think Pam is better than rank 21. There's also a lot of other good brawlers for Siege. Because next we get at 20, we have Bo gaining 4 spots. And Bo with his new tripwire gadget is, is really good in the lane map because he can open certain walls if he needs to. So that it won't really become lane maps. And yeah. Um, and yeah. Okay, but then at 19, we have Carl um, dropping 4 spots. And Carl is really good in 1v1 situations okay on offense and defense and overall he's pretty average okay but then at 18 we have rosa dropping 15 spots and rosa used to be the third best brawler in siege but rosa has dropped a lot because um poco double tank is left is less used and because poco's um has become not has become a lot worse of a brawler for siege and poco is what made rosa good for siege and now that these their lane maps rosa's not very good in 1v1 situations until she ch charges her super and normally she's used to re um uh, uh charging another super with the super that she already has but because there's only in these new lane maps she's only going to be facing one um one opponent most likely each time she's not really gonna um cycle her supers that often and because of that she's not very good for siege okay but then at uh, 17 we have el primo dropping 13 spots and el primo used to be really good for siege too but now there are a lot better tanks and also um basically the same goes for el primo that does rosa except that his super isn't as important to him than Rose's is to her. Okay, but then at 16, we have Brock gaining one spot, and Brock um, really suits these new long-range um, these new long-range lane maps, but on th on the three uh, on three maps, he's really bad in Siege, and because of that, um, yeah. Okay, but then at 15, we have Max gaining 12 spots, and Max is just has the range, she has decent range, decent damage, and decent health. And so, she, and she's pretty good on offense and defense. And with her second star power, she's really good on, I mean, wait, I just said, well, yeah, she's pretty good on offense and defense. Okay, but then at 14, we have Spike dropping four spots. And Spike would, um, does provide a lot of control and does do a lot of damage on the offense and defense. 
But besides that, he's not um, that great in 1v1 situations um, against most of good people for Siege. Okay, but now we're getting into the A tier. These brawls are starting to get really good for Siege. Yeah, at 13 we have Bull gaining 7 spots. And Bull is a really good tank. And um, and by and colo and to collect the siege bolts, and because of that, he's really good for siege. And yeah, okay. But then at twelve, we have Surge, who's a new brawler. And Surge is um, Surge with his chip shots. He's just really good in one v one situations. Once he gets, basically, once he gets to his, um, once he upgrades, uh, once he gets a super, and yeah, and upgrades. Okay, but then at 11, we have Gale, who's also a new brawler. And Gale is, like, um, really good if you have an organized team comp. But if, you, if you're if you playing with randoms, he's not as good, but he's still really good. With his jump pad, his super and attacks. And, yeah. Okay, but then at 10, 10 we have Penny drop, um, gaining one spot. And Penny, while she's not that good in, um, in 1v1 situations, she's really good on offense and really good on defense. With her turret and her gadget, I guess. Either gadget is... And... Yeah. Okay, but then at 9, we have Tick dropping 2 spots. And Tick really provides a lot of control and has a lot of range. And is really good in the lane maps. And yeah, and also, um, also he's the worst thrower in Siege. So, throwers are just really good in Siege. And yeah. Okay, but then... At eight, we have Frank um, staying at the same rank, and um, Frank is really good at collecting bolts with the super high HP, and yeah. Okay, but then at seven, we have BB at gaining nine spots, and BB with her first star power is just really good at collecting bolts. Well, actually, with either star power, but preferably her first one. Um, and basically, all she does is collect bolts, and she's really good at what she does. In siege. Okay, but then at six we have Dynamite dropping four spots, and Dynamite is pr pretty good in these lane maps and really good on almost every single map in the game besides one. And because he's not that, he's pretty bad on that one map. It really nerfs him from being a really dominant brawler in siege. And yeah. Okay, but then at uh, five, we have Sprout gaining one spot, and Sprout is really incredible on the lane maps, and then pretty good on all the other four maps. And Sprout is just has the range, he has the control, and he has everything that makes a brawler good for Siege. Okay, but the, except for the health, I guess. Okay, but then at four, we have Gene getting nine spots, and Gene with the super, he can pull and uh, he can pull an enemy to your safe. Um, to your Ike's range, or it can pull like the robot out of your Ike, like away from your Ike. And so that, um, both of these combined make Gene a really good brawler, but he's also really good in 1v1 situations. And yeah, even though Mr. P is a really dominant brawler in Siege right now, and overall right now, um, Gene is still such an amazing brawler for Siege. Okay, but then at number three, we have Mr. P gaining two spots and Mr. P basically he counters throwers. He um he his porters are really annoying and waste your enemy's ammo, which is really important. And Mr. P is um because there's a lot of walls, he can use them to his advantage and basically act like a thrower. Okay. And then but now we're getting to the S tier. These two brawlers are like broken in siege. Kinda. Okay, but then at 2, we have Barley dropping one spot. Barley was previously the number one brawler for Siege, and now he's the second best. And Barley just provides a lot of controls and is really good with these uh, these walls in Siege. He's really good in 1v1 situations, and yeah. Okay, but then, and Barley is basically a must-need in almost every single comp in, for Siege. Okay, but then at number one, we have Jackie gaining 11 spots. Jackie is an amazing bolt collector. And um, she also really counters Gale's jump pads. Like if she, if a person jumps on a Gale jump pad, then she can just blast them. And 
Yeah, and Jackie's a must need in um, basically every single comp and siege except for one map. Oh, and also I forgot to say that Burley's a um, except for one map he, it is where he's not a must need brawler. Well, actually four maps, maybe. Yeah. Well, three in three maps he's a must need, and and three a nut. Well, anyway, back to Jackie, and Jackie is a must need in um all six six maps in siege and just in um one map he, where he's not he's still in a really good brawler in it and siege is just jackie's good game mode and yeah jackie's just yeah jackie's just really good with their gadget at collecting bolts but yeah that's gonna wrap up this video i hope you did like it don't forget to like and subscribe and bye